euro crisis, refugee crisis, an impeding Brexit and stressed relations to Russia are a series of multiple shocks challenging the historical project of European integration. Against this background, the Vienna Institute for International Economic Studies has put the focus of this year's spring seminar to European integration challenges. The economic crisis is lasting very long, so that's why the, the emotional support for what we had or for leaders also is gone and for reforms is gone. And people are awaiting uh, probably a change. They have lost confidence in, in the political elites. The reasons for this loss of confidence can be attributed to a feeling of insecurity in the population. Insecurity about the economic situation that they are facing, high unemployment, but of course also in the long run to deal with issues of structural change, uh, of globalization, which in Europe of course means the impact of European integration itself. And of course now the skepticism whether we have the political mechanisms uh, the safeguards to provide a certain buffer against these shocks. In the past, countries uh, and populations expected such security from their own national governments. They were embedded in certain national safety, social security systems from which they uh, thought they would get security. This is much uh, less uh, possible uh, now, so they are insecure in relation to these existing structures, but they don't see anything on the EU level to, uh, to develop in these areas. This deficiency can of course be exploited by populist forces, as shown by the election results all over Europe. And also I think we have never heard uh, such a, uh, so, so many situations at national level where really extreme parties which add anti-Europeanism to their agenda uh, would get through the democratic processes into governments and so we have also sort of formally in, in, the, in the European Union among the leadership also leaders who are uh, not in favor of getting Europe stronger. That way dividing lines have appeared within Europe and partly within individual countries. North versus South, creditor versus debtor countries, old versus new member states, Great Britain against all and all against refugees. These different positions are hard to bridge. We have to take up the dialogue again in Europe about the differences and why there are differences. For example, on the refugee issue, to speak with all the countries why there is resistance about the refugee issue and how we can deal with it. We take it for granted that our position is the only possible one and we have to see that other positions have also their reasons and come step by step to a common policy. So I think uh, also the center, so to say, Germany, Austria, have to have more open mind for those in the periphery, periphery in the south like Greece or Spain or periphery in the east like uh, Poland or Romania. Uh, we still are in an early phase of integration and still have a lot to do to learn from each other, also to understand the attitude of the others uh, which cannot be taken for granted. So far, this mutual learning process has not really worked. So quite a few things have been moving in this direction, like the banking union, for example, and I think it's very important to follow that up. There are, of course, resistances to follow that up in the same way the fiscal coordination, the trust between debtors and credit countries, etc. Uh, the other areas are, I think, largely unresolved. Uh, we have so much heterogeneity in different countries' position, for example, how to resolve the relationship with Russia, how to uh, take a position in relation to the Ukraine crisis, other conflict areas, as we have seen most recently, also uh, between in Armenia, in Georgia, in Moldova, etc. And I think the refugee crisis altogether is the most recent challenge uh, where we have seen very strikingly the different positions taken by different countries and even within countries like Germany a twist and turn in the way how policy framework should be developing. So I think uh, to uh, be, uh, manage in a period in which there are these multiple challenges to develop a concerted effort, coordination, when a lot of politicians are struggling because of the crisis with internal skepticism towards politicians, skepticism towards the European Union, uh, is very difficult. So skepticism is high, also at the Vienna Spring Seminar, but at least there is common agreement that less of Europe 
is not going to resolve the multiple problems. Perhaps we can convince our citizens and our politicians that we need for solving these issues and challenges more Europe and not less Europe. That means more investment, common investment in our infrastructure, that means a joint policy of creating jobs, that means a joint policy concerning uh, asylum seekers and refugees and integration of the refugees. So I think it is possible that Europe uh, takes the chance to come out of this crisis and take up the challenges and promote them into a new stage of development for the European Union. This is the only chance to keep Europe alive.